What you can, uh, <clears throat> hear in the background there is the ending credits for fucking Gran Torino. Wow. Um. Just pause this. Uh, I've been hearing, uh, for a while, I bought Gran Torino on Blu-ray a few days ago, and I've been hearing from a lot of people that it was a must-see movie, and it was great, and it was awesome, and I've been putting it off, and finally tonight, I decided to watch it, and wow, um, I was gonna write a blog about it, but, uh, honestly, it was just like, fuck, I can't, there's too much to write, so I was like, oh, come on here, I'll do a little vlog about it, and wow, this story, okay, for someone like me, um, a writer and to be in the process of starting to write screenplays um, when you get a story like this I mean I've seen a ton of movies and when you get a when you get a screenplay like this man this the character development it's the epitome of character development at this I, I don't want to give too much away in case there's people that haven't seen it but Clint Eastwood is a fucking genius. I know he didn't do the writing, but his acting is, is amazing. And uh, the screenplay, like, when it when it starts out, he's just as hard, you know, his, his wife has just died right at the start, and he's just this hardcore racist, and um, towards everybody, to Asians and blacks and uh, Hispanic and everything, and it, just throughout the movie, um, he starts to, to socialize with some of these people, and uh, just the way that his character develops, it's like, man, this writing, there's not every, with movies, every scene, you don't want one scene in a movie that's not there for a specific purpose. And every single scene in this movie moved his character f further ahead. It changed him and it made him, it made the ending happen and every single scene was there for a specific reason. And uh, I've watched movies with a very close eye to pick up on this stuff, on techniques, and I was just like, you know, the acting, the directing, but just the the way that the character changes. Um, I mean, you always like his character, but at the end, his character makes you like characters that you might not have liked, or it gives you an appreciation for characters that you may not have liked. And as you can see, my eyes are a little red here. I haven't... Uh, I haven't teared up at the end of a movie in a while. It's been a while. I'm um, trying to think of the last one that did it. And, uh, geez, I, off the top of my head, I don't know. But this one, oh, wow. Um, the writer, his name is Nick Shank. I'm hoping I'm saying it right. And, uh, he hasn't, he hasn't written much other stuff. He wrote, he was a, wrote a TV series, um, his first real screenplay and story was this, and uh, Clint Eastwood as the director and as the actor, as the main guy who uh, really carries the story. I mean, this is a lot of um, of Eastwood. And anyway, I just wanted to give you guys my, my quick thoughts on that, and I just didn't want to write it because, uh, as you can tell, words, I can't even barely speak about it. This is definitely... Um, going in my top five movies of all time based on writing uh, for sure so yeah all right hope you guys if you haven't seen it you have got to check out this movie all right